See you later, love. Bye. Have a good day. Hello to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys for just liking the content and feeling that it's worthy enough for you to subscribe and, you know, continue to come back and check little old me, big old me, big old me. Come and check me out. I really, really, really thank you guys. I've been trying to, you know, support everybody. So I do make my rounds and I do like to come in, guys. Um, but I just wanted to thank you all. Um, if you are new, we just give you a little bit of background about myself. My name is Precious, and I am a mother to two boys that are eight and two years old. And um, I just try to give you guys motherhood content. I love to do like self care things, and I am trying to get on my fitness journey. So the new year will have a lot of new things in stock. I'm just trying to finish out this. Um, Christmas season, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have to give, guys, and I hope that you all just continue to rock it out with me, and I will do the same with you all, so thank y'all so much for subscribing, and um, we're just gonna get into this video. This morning, it is December 5th, good morning, how you doing? Have a great day. Um, we are running behind. Y'all know how Mondays are. It's always hectic trying to get up and out from the weekend. My baby, he usually rides the bus, but I just uh, dropped him off, as you all saw. Because we just missed the bus. We missed the alarm clock. We, we missed it all. So I just got him in before breakfast time because he wanted to make it to breakfast to eat with his friends. And I understand it. So that's what we're doing now. It is raining here currently in the M town. I'm headed back to the house because so I'm still in the bed sleep with my own. And my honey's there as well. My honey's in the house as well. So he can. I was thinking about, I should have brought my purse because I didn't, y'all, so I can go ahead and just make this a quick uh, breakfast morning and go to get me some, buy me a sausage and biscuits somewhere. But I didn't bring my purse. So when I get to the house, I'm not coming back out. Anyway. I wanted to just check on here and start the vlog. I do not know what today consists of. However, um, I do have to get out and get rice some stuff for Christmas Spirit Week because they are doing, you know, Christmas Spirit Week. So you need different items like hats and uh, socks and different stuff. So we, do, we will be going to Dollar Tree later today. And then... Uh, after that, I kind of sort of need to go to the grocery store. But what I'm going to do, since it's raining, so I can get in and out, is I'm going to just write down a few things that I want to get just to make some meals for the next couple of days. It's like Taco Tuesday tomorrow, so I know we'll be doing that. And then maybe something from Monday to Wednesday, then I can go back Wednesday because I do not like doing all that shopping now and having to load the bottom bags and come home and wipe everything down and put it up. Y'all, let me tell y'all something how ghetto it is. Yes, I have on my skeleton jumpsuit that I had on from Halloween. Because why? Why I'm going to put it up? It's a cozy little onesie that I can keep out. Plus, I'm not going to be able to fit it next year because I was barely fitting it this year. So I'm like, I can keep this and, um, you know, hang around the house in it, keep warm. And that's that on it. Um, so I did throw it on this morning to hurry up and so we could jump in the car and go. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to come on here and introduce the vlog. Um, and so I will check back in with you all once I actually get moving or do something that is interesting. y'all so it is much 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 later but we did end up going to dollar tree and walmart to grab a few things i did not um vlog while i was in the store because we were really in and out because i haven't been feeling too good today but i'm just going to show y'all what i got this is the stuff that i got from um dollar tree as i told y'all i was going to get some stuff for bryce because they're having spirit week don't mind this mattress y'all this is just going to 
lay out in the living room. Um, but as I told y'all, we was going to get some stuff for Bright Spirit Week. So we did pick up a few things. We still got to get some more stuff. I got um a game that I'm going to show y'all to play. Very inexpensive that you can play with your kiddos. If you, all you need is some um, gift bowls. But, um, yeah, so some of the stuff, I ain't going to show y'all everything because you may not want to see, but some of the stuff we got was those string lights, um, some of the reindeer ears. They had a lot of the other kind of um, headbands, but believe it or not, I guess the box that they um, were shipped in bent them up. They just rough handled it, so all of the bands and stuff were, like, broken on it, so we couldn't choose any other ones. What else did we get for him? Got the Jingle Bell necklaces, and then they had these Jingle Bell bracelets, but I ended up just getting one for myself and one for um, Thomas. We got the reindeer on the nose, and he got a just a regular hat, and he did, okay, here it is, and then he got the um, blue and white, who is this? I don't watch that one, I mean, or whatever he on, yeah. Yeah, he got that one. <laughs> what else did we get to use? And that's pretty much it, guys. So, I wanted to show y'all that really quick. Um, of course, there's some other stuff down here. Some stuff is just for decorations because um, I am going to put up the tree, but I'm not going to put up any extra stuff. Also, let me show y'all the stuff that I ordered from Amazon. But before I go to that... For dinner tonight, we are just having some um, baked tenders. Some baked tenders. Um, and then we're just going to put them on these wraps. I got some spinach wraps and then just regular wheat wraps. Some Caesar dressing. I'm going to put a little bit of lettuce on there. And you could do whatever lettuce, like romaine lettuce or whatever lettuce you want. This is what I have. And um, some Parmesan cheese and parmesan cheese and that's what we're gonna have for dinner so just something quick and easy and i'm gonna be mad if i didn't pick up any more parmesan cheese when we went in the store i just got i'm having to use this get the little cheese from the um caesar kit i'm gonna have to use that you can use whatever cheese you prefer but parmesan just goes better with it to me to be getting the tree up and now we're about to go up in the attic now and pull down the tree and the decorations so i guess i'll just kind of show you guys what we're going to be doing and using i also have the mini trees from dollar tree i had got two of those where are they here is one i know they are very mini but i'm going to still put them up um one to go up in the room and then want to just be like on the counter somewhere as, as a decoration. But I got to find. Okay, it's back there. So, yeah, we're going to put up the trees tomorrow. I'm not going to do much because I'm so late decorating now. And the stuff will be coming down um, the end of the month. Hey, little. No, I'm not coming. Okay, sir. I'm not coming. This one right here is scared, y'all. He's scared. I don't like heights. He's scared, y'all. I am too, though. That's why he helped with grandma. Right there. Right there. Okay, so we just gonna close y'all up. So, y'all, this is my outfit of the day. It's just this little sweatsuit with the blue on it. It says Faith, Love, and God. A little under cami, some blue jean capris, and my little slip ons. Hey Jules, how you doing? Welcome and welcome back to another day here at Precious Place. Guys, it's December 6th, Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So looking forward to it. Um, we are headed to the doctor's office now for Thomas. We got Bryce off to school. It's like two hours later now, so it is currently like 9.30. And we are headed to the doctor. 
Um, so I just wanted to check in, get the vlog, open up the vlog, see how you guys are doing. And um, we are going to get on in here, get um, signed in and everything, and then I will be back. So, don't go nowhere. Hey, y'all, so I have a question on today. I recently watched a YouTuber, and this may be redundant because some people probably do this. Um, however, I enjoy the content. I enjoy this um, YouTuber's content, but what she basically said is that she have to make, she actually plan her YouTube videos. Okay, fair enough, right? But she said that she plan her videos, which means in a way it's like false or fake life or fake reality but she do it to create to have content and to create her videos so what she mean is that she'll plan out days specifically like okay um i'm okay she may say she's gonna go she's gonna get up she's gonna give us a skincare routine then we're gonna eat breakfast and then she's gonna go to target and maybe look for a bed set come back home put the um, bed set on the bed you know kind of give us a review and everything of it and then that's the video right okay that sounds cool the thing is is that it may not necessarily be what she needed to do it's, it's like she'll go out and buy a comforter set just for to create the content it's not necessarily that she need a comforter set or that she was in in, in search of a, you know in need of it um, but it was just something that she planned to do to create a video because people love to see folks shopping and love to see people redecorating and so on and so on, right? So for me, like, you know, I'm cool with it. I am cool with it. Um, I just really wanted to know, like, what do you guys think about that? Like, people, even though you may not really even know who is creating, um, you know, fake content or not, but how would y'all feel about that kind of content? Do you all do that kind of content? Like, do you plan out stuff to make you have videos to put out? Because, like, for me, it's just, like, real life. Like, it's just real life situations. And I'm not knocking that because it's still, either way, creating content or making, um, making up stuff to do still is giving you videos and giving you views and get, you know getting you much success here on youtube but i was just kind of thinking about that I'm like hmm you know that really takes a lot of time too because you have to actually like make up a life or make up something to do not to say that she don't have a life because i'm sure she have other stuff going on but that's like interesting because like for people like me who's not really doing anything on a daily basis who don't you know like it's not just on and popping all day every day do I create content? Do I make up stuff to do to make it seem like, you know, I have a life or that I have things going on? So that was just something that was very interesting to me to see and to hear. And I was like, I'm going to bring that to you all. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to break it down. But yeah, that was just a thought Um, because, you know, we be watching these YouTube videos. And I know I watch a lot of people that are always um you know seem like they always on the move once again it's nothing wrong with it because that just may be something that you have to do you know everybody is different everybody i, I can stay in the house all day i'm a homebody somebody else may have to be up and out and on the go all the time and it's totally fine and i enjoy that kind of content because i like to see what is there to do you know getting out the house and things like that y'all i I'm just going on, but I wanted to, I really, really, that just was like puzzling me or bothering me a little bit. So I was like, I got to bring this to, you know, I got to bring this to, to my people because I got to see, you know, what are y'all thoughts and views on that and how y'all feel about it. So anyway, that is all. I'm going to focus on this road now. We're going to go ahead and get into this doctor's office. Hopefully it's not too long because I did do my check-in online. So don't, don't be sweating me about doing nothing, signing nothing, or none of that when I get in here because I already did it. Oh, yeah. I already did it. So that's that. I just have a banana here for breakfast and some water. And Thomas um, ate a bar, Nutri-Grind bar. 
you know those bananas that like you just don't have no other choice to just go on and finish it up so that's what I grabbed this morning because I didn't want to waste it and it's not bad on the inside it's just ugly on the outside so that's that I'm going to see y'all in a minute Hey y'all, we are back. We went to the appointment. Um, so Thomas fractured his arm um Thanksgiving Day. And so that's one of the reasons why I really have not been vlogging or you know making you know videos and stuff. Because with him fracturing his arm, he's been really um you know whining and stuff. And I haven't been able to just really tend to other stuff from mommy duties. So y'all know how that go. If it ain't mommy duties, it's some, it's some other kind of, it's some duties that you got to tend to. So, you know, that stuff obviously comes first. But, um, yeah, so he fractured his arm and they put a cast on him. And so they referred us to go to the orthopedic doctor a week from then, which was today. So they did um, take that cast off and they x-rayed him again. They said his arm and stuff was still kind of swollen, but he was moving his arm and using his arm and everything. So he said that he, as long as he was comfortable and wasn't complaining about his arm, then he might be okay. However, um, he went ahead and recast his arm because he was not sure, or, you know, he could not actually see any break or anything in it because of the swelling that was still there. So he has to wear a cast for another week and then we'll come back and hopefully, like he said, the swelling will be down and he'll be able to see, you know. So ain't nothing, obviously ain't nothing wrong with his, his mouth, you know, because y'all hear him. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, so that's the thing with that. Um, I was just trying to wait to see exactly, you know, what they would say or what was the deal with it because they couldn't tell me at the ER if it was broke and then he said he can't tell me today, like, if it's any fracture or broken bone or anything deep down in there. So, we'll be back in a week. So, that's the update with that, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's all. I, that's why I haven't really been able to just vlog. It's been, like, so tiring because and wine and of course him not being that you know and I understand because he's a toddler he doesn't really understand the cast he doesn't really understand the pain and all of those things so it's been some late night early mornings just up and down you know we be up he'll go to sleep we be up at four in the morning from four to eight or so he's whining about his arm it's just like different things and of course I give him Tylenol and stuff but it doesn't like Tylenol if you know, you know, when you have certain pains, body pains, bone pain, Tylenol and stuff, don't get to the to the, to the the core of that. It, don't, it just don't work for that. It knock the edge off, but it don't get to the core of it. And I know I have severe body um, joint aches. But anyway, that's that. I have been trying to just stay motivated and keep the... Um, content going you know and just want to you know continue to stick with youtube so i i apologize to y'all for not getting any content up and out but i'm telling y'all it's been really really hard to just get the videos done get the videos done i have not even been in the like the christmas spirit and stuff y'all because i would have had my tree up or decorations and stuff up after thanksgiving and i have yet to put up anything however i did pull my um decorations and stuff down yesterday from the attic but it's just still sitting in the corner and i'm like when am i gonna get like that energy or that that oomph 
to like just go ahead and get it done because after a while like the stuff will be coming down so i don't want to wait until the last minute i'm probably going to just go ahead and throw up the tree today just so they can have the lights and stuff the lights action in the house because i don't want to be selfish to them so i'm definitely going to get the tree up if nothing else like i'm not going to do the whole signs and the yard and all that stuff because we usually go all out for christmas and right now it's just i'm tired i'm tired y'all it's like in this video y'all this is just a whole bunch of talking honestly it's just a whole bunch of talking because i just need to be i just need to get it out so i'm sleeping and i am almost like a chronic sleeper and i don't know if it's just that because i sleep in intervals that i'm not getting like the adequate amount of sleep but i be so tired and people don't understand you know why that is because it's like i sleep for two hours then i'm up doing something then i you know get sleepy or i just i have to take a nap and then i go to sleep for an hour and then i'm back up you know between him and his brother and then my aunt who i take care of it's like an up and down up and down thing then at night i don't really rest or settle and actually get a full shift of sleeping and then it's like right back or you know do the same thing all over again because i get up my aunt she has to be on a strict uh routine with eating and her meds and you know different things that i have to do with her so the day still has to start regardless and now you know not only only her but with my own with my children getting my son up and out on the bus on time that'd be a struggle <laughs> It's like the bus is right at the corner, but that'd be a struggle. Like, how many times he missed that bus and I have to go ahead and drive him to school? I'm like, baby, I, I, I didn't sign up to be the car driver. But, yeah. um, What else? What else I want to talk about? Oh, the New Year. So, of course, we know. I know. Christmas. We got to get through Christmas first, but the New Year. So, um, people have been, you know, I, I want to ask y'all, how do y'all feel about people having New Year new year regimens or routines or goals or whatever i personally don't think it's a problem because it's like to me that's when you should start a new routine or start something new because it's a new year and whatever goals that you are looking to achieve or accomplish starting at you know a new time gives you the whole year to get the things accomplished and then you know you can go to something else the next year so to me i have never had really had a problem with people being on the new year kick because i'm gonna be on the new year kick but i have not had a problem or didn't really see a big issue with it because i'm like that is that that makes sense which you can start something new at any point in time but just like on my fitness journey, I'm going to be really, really serious about it starting the new year. And I know that's cliche. A lot of people do that in, in when the new year comes. But to me, like, I like to be realistic. And I know that I'm not going to, even though people stick to their fitness journey and stuff all throughout the holidays and everything, it's about discipline. However, with me just trying to get serious and think, excuse me, I got the hiccups. With me trying to get serious and get back on track to fitness, I'm not going to play myself during the holiday times and act like I'm going to be disciplined. You know, I'm just not. And with me starting back on my journey, it's not like I've been on the journey and I have more um, control <laughs> right now. So I, I'm just going to be realistic. So come the new year, it's a fresh start. It's a new year. Those are the goals and the plans that I'm setting for myself. It's to, you know, be on my fitness journey. Of course, it's other things that I have in mind that I have planned that I want to focus on and achieve and stuff. But I'm just saying, for fitness sake, that I don't see a problem with it. So it's just, you know, people usually make a big deal about what other people want to do with their life, with their time on for the new year. And I just don't see what the big issue is. So that's another thing I just want to put out there, y'all. Like I said, this is just a ranting car chat while I drive back to this house. And I'm probably about to get into bed. Really, I am. 
I'm probably about to get in the bed. That's probably going to be... I'm going to get in the bed because it's like um, 11, 20 something right now. We just left the doctor and um, Bryce said that he wanted me to wait on him to get out of school to put the tree up. Perfect. Perfect. Because you know why? I can try to get me a nappy. <laughs> but seriously, um... I know Thomas is probably going to go back to sleep too. So if he do, if he does go back to sleep, it's going to be good for me. So y'all, I have just been, you know, that's just what's going on in my life. You know, update whether you care or don't care. It's all good, girl. And I just appreciate you guys for just, you know, hanging in there with me. Even when I have not been putting out any content. Y'all know how it go. Y'all are content creators as well. So things just happen things just happen and so it's like what do I do and it's so easy as a small YouTuber to get like discouraged and not want to continue the journey yeah it is because you feel like you don't have as much following or you, maybe enough people just don't really care or wouldn't notice that you are gone from YouTube and so it's, just, it's easy to just throw in the towel and be like, forget it. But I love doing YouTube. I really um, enjoy being able to come out here and talk to y'all. I love, you know, the comments and stuff, coming back and forth, getting to know people, meeting people. And most importantly, this is somewhat like a outlet for me because I am an introvert to an extent and I don't really talk to people about things so like and this also gives me something to do like not that I don't have anything to do because you just heard what I got going on but it gives me something that I enjoy like a hobby to an extent it gives me something to do that I look forward to doing. And I love that. So that's that, y'all. I think I have chatted enough. I will have some. I'm trying to, you know, kind of revamp my channel a little bit. And I um, will have a lot of things in store come the new year. I'm turning up in Burger King, y'all. I, um, I think breakfast, yeah, breakfast is definitely over. And that's what I was wanting. So I'm probably not going to go here, to be honest. But yeah, I have some things coming up for the new year. Um, just trying to revamp the channel on what I want to present. Of course, my fitness journey will be in there. I'm not going to just make it like a whole thing where like I'm showing exercise and all that. It'll just be like I check in with y'all sometimes to show y'all my progress and you know different tips or different things that i'm doing to help me out with my weight and stuff like that i'm also i'm going to definitely always keep up with the self-care i'm going to get more into my self-care um as a mother and that's the main thing that i'm um focusing on right now and is just continuing to do my self-care and keep my peace and my sanity and of course motherhood content is just automatic that's just what comes with me and then i'm also going to kind of incorporate like i want to start doing a um i want to start doing like a it's like a podcast style thing but it's not a podcast because i just want to talk about some stuff so that's what's coming up for the new year y'all i hope that y'all are excited as i am i'm also excited to see what y'all got going on and um that's just what it is but i'm about to check and see what i want from burger king or if i want to go somewhere else and then we're gonna head on back to the house and i will definitely check back in with y'all once we um you know begin to do the tree it's not gonna be anything special just the tree with ornaments but i'm going to show y'all um the process on that and then once we get it up and stuff i'll show y'all a picture of it so that y'all can see, you know, what we've done. And that'll be it for this vlog and for today. Because it's, it's already been enough, enough Mommy. to be honest. Mommy.
Hey y'all, so it's been a long time later in the day, but we are finally about to put up our tree. But first, I just wanted to go through a few things with you guys, um, kind of show y'all what we got going on. I got a couple of Amazon yeah, packages for some things that I did order for um, Christmas, so I'm going to show y'all that, and then we're just going to get right into the tree. So I hope you guys enjoy the, vid the rest of this video. Right here, of course, we have our tree, just a simple pre-lit six-foot um, tree. My kiddos are here helping me. Um, then I got these two plants here, this poinsettia plant, and then that little floral arrangement there. Some Dollar Tree decor that I had from last year. Of course, like I said, we do the traditional Christmas colors, red and green and white. So two sleighs and the little trees right there. And then this coat right here. It's all the little stuff that I'm going to use to just decorate the tree, things like that. I did get two of the small trees from Dollar Tree. I have not opened them up yet to see what they're looking like, which I'm sure I'm not expecting too much from them. Um, I'm not expecting too much because it's Dollar Tree and this is very light. However, I'm still going to put them up as well to be part of the decor. Can you cut that off? Yeah, thank you. And then, yeah, there's just a lot of other stuff in there. These are the two packages, though, that I am going to share with y'all. So let's look into that real quick. See what your girl got. Because, you know, have, do y'all ever shop and forget what you ordered? I know that it's Christmas stuff. This looks like the little LED projection light that I ordered, and it um, has, like, all the different settings on it for the different holidays. So, I'm excited to see how this looks, and I'll show y'all that, but I got this from Amazon as well, and I think it was, like, $15.99 on the uh, Cyber Deal. These are some... They were supposed to be... I thought I ordered some pillowcases. So I got to check that out because that may not even be mine. It says that these are... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this this is exactly what I, what I thought it is, y'all. I was about to say. So these are like the door banners. However, I think I'm going to just use them... I think I'm going to just use them um, in the house as part of the decoration because... So, yeah, I was a little lost at first, y'all. So, they hang, you know, alongside the door. And they're long like that. So, pretty long. Try to give y'all a full visual. Oh, yeah, they're real long. They're about my height. So, it's just a long banner like that. And it's two of them. The other one says Merry. And this one says Christmas. So, I got both of those. And then in my other package here, it should be um, the pillowcases to put on the pillows here in the living room. On the, on the couch pillows, on these here. Hopefully they fit, but this is what they look like. Well, we're going to open them up so y'all can see the full view of them because... And then we're going to get into this tree, y'all. Okay. Um, so. Oh, I hope they're big enough. They look like they are. Okay. Yeah, they look like they might be. So this is pretty much what they look like. And they're red and green as well. This one says, nice day with like the reindeer antlers. This one says, merry bright. Merry Christmas to you. These are really cute and great quality as I expected. I think these were $8.99 and happy holidays. So I love all of that. That's the little things that I ordered. I can't wait to check out this light. And these are just three things that I added um, to my decor this year. So we're going to get into this tree.
Hey y'all, good morning. It is Wednesday, December 8th, I believe. So I am here to just close out and finish out this vlog. I know the last thing y'all saw was me um, last night putting up the tree and all of those things. So I want to just show y'all the little decor that we did. Actually get up. That's the, um, the little train down here beeping. So I'm going to show y'all that. And I'm going to close out this vlog because it's been four days now recording this. And I'm just sick of it. So um, I'm going to show y'all what I got going, okay? So here is our tree. We did um, gold and red. And it does have like little touches of black on it with these balls here. Got different little ornaments like this with the Santa's on there and the snowflake, the black, the angel, Santa. So we just threw in a pair of those, but this is the tree. Y'all pardon my train down here. I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute as well. Then under here, I just boosted it up, but we got like little teddy bears sitting under there. And then here is the train. I had to do something for my boys, y'all know. So that's the train. So up here in the bar, we just did the two little trees with the joy sign that's in the kitchen. And then over here by the window, y'all, I'm going to put some blinds up. Don't worry about that. I just put the two sleighs on the side with the Christmas tree on the couch here. I bought those pillow covers that I showed y'all. I put those on over here on the fireplace. These are our little stockings. I know I could be more unified and do, um, you know, everybody the same stocking, but... I let them pick the one that they wanted. So Bryce has the marble. I just did the colors. And then Thomas picked that. Dollar Tree, of course. Here is a little um, spray, I believe it's called. And then I just put the two gingerbread houses on the side of there. On the side table here, got the little truck with the poinsettia flower. Then here in front of the TV, I just put the two little trees with this home for Christmas sign. And then on the other side table here is a little reindeer with this floral arrangement. And that is all. And the two pillows are over here on these couches as well. So that's it y'all. So y'all know this has been a long video and if you are still here then i appreciate you guys so so much please leave me down a christmas tree in the comment section also if you have not please like this video subscribe if you have not because that's the greatest gift that you can give this year <laughs> and please go back and check out more videos with me i will see you guys in the next one until then live love and be free i'm out